looking at the answers for last week's test. Number one, it will get hot from now on is the answer for number one. So it will get hot from now into the future. Number two, please something that you will need to do this within 14 days. Please keep it in mind. Please keep it in mind that you will need to do this within 14 days. Please remember, please don't forget. Number three, he will do something to win the match. He will do whatever it takes to win the match. And number four, the troops marched shoulder to shoulder. So he will do whatever is necessary to win the match. He'll do his best. He'll do anything he can do to win. Number four, the troops marched shoulder to shoulder together in unison, side by side. And the bonus question from last week, the mayor promised to lower taxes, but it was the same old snake oil. So it was the same old trick. It didn't really happen. They, he made people believe that was going to happen, but it didn't actually happen. It was the same old snake oil. And today's review and test for the idioms we studied this week. First, we'll look at each idiom. A, elbow grease. Elbow grease means hard work and effort. Comes from rubbing something. If I'm rubbing something or polishing something, I use a lot of elbow in that. So I need to use a lot of elbow grease. Uh, I need to put a lot of effort into something. I need to work very hard on something. B, penciling. To pencil in a time or appointment or something means that we're writing in pencil so it can be erased, it can be changed. It's not permanent. If I pencil in an arrangement or an appointment of some sort, uh, right now we think that this is a good time, but this can change in the future. We'll need to check and make sure that this is a good time. If it's not, we can change it to another date because we're doing it in pencil. C, I can tell. I can tell means I can recognize. I can understand certain signs of something. Uh, other people may look at something and not notice what I notice, but I can tell from the signs what's actually happening. If somebody's smiling and I know that actually they're not happy, I can feel it for some reason. They look like they're happy, but I can tell that they're not. I know what signs to look for in this person and understand whether they're really happy or really not happy. D. Pay attention to. Pay attention to means to listen and watch carefully, to take notice of something, to listen to what someone's saying and try to understand what's happening, to be responsive to questions, to pay attention to someone. And we want to use one of these idioms in each of the questions below. The first question is, number one, please something your father's advice. Two, A, wow, she's got talent. B, something. This is two people. The first person says, wow, she's got talent. And then the second person will respond with something. Three, the floor is very dirty. It will take something to get it clean. Four, we'll something the dates for the next meeting and confirm them later. And five, number five is a bonus from last week's idioms. Please look through last week's idioms to answer number five. I will do something to make this project successful. Please put your answers in the comments below and I'll check that for you. If you like my channel, please subscribe and see you next time.